we call this house? Future house. Uh, this is a traditional skill and method and a contemporary mixture. This is ground earth and mixture of mud plaster and throw. This is a face to the south, exactly. Orientation oh. is very important. Uh -huh. This is a go to the inside in the winter, go deep into the living room. In the summer, these plants go to the roof. This house is a rectangle shape, uh -huh. but uh, all corner is round. It means the uh, sea wind, not to the house directly, go through outside. Outside all around the roof, air circulation from here to the go to the top. Air from here, go to the top. There is a air circulation gap. That part as well. Or, or Between the overhang and the yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Yeah. And that's for air circulation as well? Yeah, as well. And why do you want the air to go through? Outside, outside heating, not to the inside wall directly. Because the walls don't heat up as much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or cool off as yeah, much? Yeah, cool <laughs> inside. Traditional house wall is very thick and the uh, mud wall uh -huh. is a uh, breathing air getting heat. That is a uh, breathing wall. This is a uh, earth floor, other floor, mm -hmm. and mud wall. Sun direction is very important to get the sun heat in the winter, in the floor, and uh, this wall as well. Uh -huh. That is a uh, east direction, so in the morning, sun go to the inside. In the winter, very warm here, gets the heat in the other floor. So it, it's a heat sink? Yeah, yeah. This way and uh, this way as well. And that way as well? Yeah. yeah. In the morning, go into the this wall, very low angle. So that's why you have the big windows? Yeah, yeah. Very, very comfortable, this space. Mm. Natural yeast bread, her made. No, it's <laughs> Sometimes this is a shop. It's sometimes a shop. She made a bread shop. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And a restaurant, cafe. She made wow. sometimes. This color, uh, us, is a local rose. This color. It's a very local color. Yeah. yeah. So you're painting with earth in a way. <laughs> This is uh, for the structural reason. Very hard clay we need for the wall structure. Uh -huh. This is uh, many insects here. In the summer, mm, we use the only net door. In the night time, uh -huh. go to sleep. When go to sleep, um, shut the grid door and <laughs> locked <laughs> for the safety. I also work from Tokyo every day. I go to Tokyo from here. It's diff very different, totally different. But it's, uh, it's also very good for me because uh, two totally different worlds, Tokyo and the countryside, and lots of green in here. I feel very east here. I can keep my stress control. Very cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, the temperature here is great. <laughs> there is uh, no air conditioning. Yeah. In summer, the roof is very long, so mm. the sun, sunlight not to the inside. You really understand that, that we, we don't have any um, um, heater or cooler or electrical device. We just have the, this kind of... Uh, this is how you heat the home? Yes, yes. It's, it's the only one. So one room is very good for us. Yeah. This stove heat go to the second floor through the through the gap. Go to the second floor. This 
Hmm. So you really don't have a floor. You have boards. <laughs> <laughs> it lets more light in too. It's probably why the room is so light. It's <laughs> all open. But in the winter, uh, the degree is very low. So go to the inside and uh, sunlight go to the this wall directly. This soil and uh, sand can keep the heat and also uh, release the uh, moisture. Mm -hmm. It's very uh, good for keep the uh, air very good condition. In the summer, hot air starts to the top. Mm -hmm. That all window is open to the top to go to the outside. Before all the heat escapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And window in the north. That is uh, important. North wind goes from here to the top the as well. Yeah. It's very open. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oftentimes, earth homes can feel a bit more, mm -hmm. a bit darker. Dark this one? feels very open and light. <laughs> yeah. Very, very modern. Modern. Well, yeah. Yeah. This is bedroom and uh, this is sliding door as well. So most of the time it's all open. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Our style is a contemporary and a traditional skill and method. This is a traditional Japanese style with construction method. There is no nail. So those are wooden pegs? Or yeah, pegs. It takes a very skilled carpenter. Yeah, yeah. Shall we go to outside? Yes, let's, yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is traditional. Method as well. With the peak, there is no nail. It's a lot, a lot of work, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> At first, we put on the grass, but that is gone, and the weeds. The weeds, are weeds. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow! Making buildings is a. Uh, I think the damage to the ground. So we recovery the ground by using the digging earth to the top. This earth is uh, from this ground. This is weed. <laughs> Very natural way. <laughs> it is more than 10 degrees different from outside and inside ceilings. Because of the plants? Ah, yeah, and uh, huh? us, and uh, this is uh, yeah. for grass insulation. Is it volcanic rock? Bubbling grass, mm. chemically, for the insulation. Mm. The living roof, this is very special, but some local reason use living roof, lead roof mixture. A reed with living. Searching roof and uh, Earth, living roof mixture. This wall from inside, heat air to the outside from this window. I think traditional Japanese method is uh, very useful for the passive design. It is uh, efficient uh, today as well, I think. But are there newer or more, more modern passive solar techniques yeah, yeah, yeah. that you've added? There is a air circulation from this roof and underneath and go to here and go outside from here. Go to outside. From there to this gap, air go to outside. There is a gap all around this part as well. And this whole part as well. And we taking data and the study with the university professor. Uh -huh. We get the temperature data for outside and inside. So a university is interested in your work? In yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? We think uh, the living roof is a very, very efficient for the energy saving mm -hmm. for the installation. It is useful for the common house from now in Japan as well. Originally grass gone, almost gone. 
and now new weed. Very natural yeah. way. <laughs> Our style is a modern and a traditional mixture that is uh, useful for the future. Mm -hmm. We consider that, so we call this house future house. Do you think it could be a, a future way of building for more people? More people do this type mm. of thing? Or is it, is, it, is it take a lot of labor? Is it difficult? A um, little bit smaller house is uh, efficient, easy to build mm. for the cost. I like the, this house because a big one room, um, so we can we can um, good good relationship inside family. This is family room. This house family together in this room, St study study and uh, working. This house, there is no door. This this all the room is one room. So we can see through the carved wall. Yeah. It's not huge, but it feels big. Mm -hmm. We can close sliding door. And this room is for for the guest room guest usually, room. yeah. Oh, okay. And this gap is a uh, very comfortable for the sitting. In Japanese, we call this koagari. Both window is uh, very important for the circulation. In Japanese traditional house, yeah. this door, this door go, all this door go to the inside. This is a traditional Japanese press. Between outside and inside, uh, this terrace, Engawa. Engawa. Very, very useful place, this. This is a communication space in the ja Japanese house. Customer and uh, the host sit here usually and uh, talk each other. <laughs> When we came here, tiles are very small, so they can play a land in the garden, can go to the sea, play and down. It's very, very free. Small kids uh, run like this. So it wore so many, the material. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. It's it's a straw, right? Straw. Yeah, straw. Yeah. Yeah. Ordinary, this kind of very. Uh, very yeah. you know, but oh, wow, the fact that this yes, but, uh, shows. Mm. <laughs> I like a very good from old traditional house and also um, very uh, new thinking. I, th I, I like that kind of a uh, new style. I'll show you the sanctuary. And this house, the uh, old window is uh, made from wood sash. That is very good for the heating in this house. The vape point? You don't get wet. There's no vape point. Aluminum, aluminum will be a dew point. Oh, and so for wood, it doesn't... Get so wet. It doesn't get so wet. Oh, so funny because people are worried about wet and wood oftentimes, but it's actually the opposite. Yeah, yeah actually. It's all interesting the way that how affordable material, like the most affordable probably, mud mixed with, and then this uh, <laughs> translucent material, mm -hmm. which is probably also very mm -hmm. affordable. Mm -hmm. Once it's in place, it looks very, mm -hmm. very proper. It's, it's interesting that some things that look very ancient are also very modern, mm -hmm. like timeless. Mm -hmm. they, don't have, timeless. <laughs> they, they don't have, they don't have time. Mm -hmm. Post. That's 
I wonder if sometimes when something makes sense, it makes sense in the past and it mm -hmm. makes sense in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs>